Today, Bridgeton Academy attracts young men who need to develop the academic skills, study skills, self-discipline, and self-confidence necessary to succeed in college and in life. With 180 current students and 6,000 alumni, the Academy's founders no doubt will be stunned to see the reach of their dream today. Its reputation as the premier college preparatory school for postgraduate young men has been created by the achievements and success of its alumni. And as a result, Bridgeton Academy is very much alive and well, poised to begin its third century from a position of strength. One of the most intriguing issues for me as, as an educator is to work in a, in a school, in an environment which has unique characteristics. Uh, Bridgeton Academy has a unique features uh, that make it uh, different from others. Um, obviously the first feature is we deal with only one year of education between high school and college. The school that I was prior, Suffield Academy, had 25 postgraduates, but it was really a school for 9th to 12th grade and the postgraduates were called seniors. Even though they had all graduated from other schools, they were incorporated in that 9 to 12 culture where Bridgeton Academy is much more like a boot camp. Everyone arrives simultaneously. Therefore, when the students arrive, they realize that they are unique class unto themselves. Uh, we are all male. We are all male at a certain age. It's that late adolescence that makes us unique. Most schools deal with 14s to 18s. And they must structure their school for the youngest student, not for the oldest where we deal with one age in particular. Uh, and therefore, we can structure our environment around that one age. One of the benefits of an all-male institution is you're focusing on one gender and increasingly focusing in on how that gender functions in terms of their learning issues. Most students come here knowing it's all-male and accept it. And in fact, they actually welcome it in some ways. What we try to do at Bridgeton Academy is combine the worlds the best we can so that the, the values that we hold important get translated from one world to the next. What we strive for in the adult world is that we have a common message. Whether it's true or not yet, they have great expectation that we are right, that they have entered the right institution, that this is going to work for them that somehow uh, this 33 weeks at Bridgeton is going to help them transform themselves. And we tell them pretty consistently, we don't have the answers, we have an environment. And within the environment, you will find your answer for you to move forward. Not only do you get to see the kids in a professional sense, maybe in the classroom or as a dean of students, but then you get to really get to know them on a, on a less grading basis as a coach, working with them, being, being truly a friend to them sometimes and giving them a little bit of support and teaching in an area that they really appreciate. Christian Academy, to me, is a major reason why I am the person I am today. I think my parents had a good perspective on this and they were patient enough, but they knew that boys are probably a little bit behind females as far as maturity and so forth and so they were like you know a year would be good for you just stick to the program be disciplined learn some things learn how to uh, live on your own live out of the house and figure some things out for yourself and Bridgeton did a lot of that you can take that to college or to whatever vocation you go into after and that was a big key